well, after our, uh, you know, discovering yesterday, we, we don't have um, um, common at, at the same time that, that it's a uh, unidirectional com here from the flight deck. So I'll try to keep my transmission short and not step on you. You're doing, you're doing great, Taz. Yep. I will let you know if you can call while you're talking. Station Houston on the big loop for exercise constraints. It's isolated exercise only for most of the EVA starting now. We copy that, Lucia, thank you. Lucia, did you say starting now? Yes. Affirmative. Okay, um, can you give us a heads up when we can go back to exercise? You bet. And Ron, it's isolated only. Copy. All right, Greg, uh, I'm in familiar territory. Uh, handrail numbers, please, and help me with the bag. Okay. All right, so the... Um you're going to, it's going to be between handrail 3842 and 3849. Copy. Yeah, I'm at M14. M14 or M2? Uh, oh yeah, we're doing jump first, thanks. Okay, thanks. At least I've got my orientation right. Okay, can I read you guys a caution about QDs? Go ahead. Yep, go ahead. All right, so uh, QDs exposed to direct sun can over temp in 20 minutes, so shading by the EMU or thermal shroud can lengthen acceptable time with the booty removed. The P3, P4 jumper exposed to sun can become dangerously hot, so use caution. And the P3, P4 jumper QD stem can break with excessive force. Use caution in the handling, especially the small one. A final note here, uh, better be careful not to route our safety tethers under the P3, P4 jumper. Copy. Right, station, uh, Houston station on the big loop, just confirm where it goes. Go ahead, uh, could you repeat on the big loop? I just want to make sure, just want to confirm that we're go for T2 and A red. Ron, we confirm you are yeah, go for T2 and A red. Hey, Drew, go ahead. I'm Adam, too. All right, great. So, um, all right, so first thing is to put a rat on handrail 3860. That's complete. Say again? That's complete. Okay. And then um, remove the cap from QDM2 on that red. Okay, put the red on the cap, then I'll pull the QD cap at M2. Sounds good. Mike, uh, you're next just to go uh, remove the wire tie I left out there for you two days ago. Bobby. Just like we planned. Which part? <laughs> Everything. Okay, cap is off and M2 is on my ret hanging on 360. Okay, really good. So uh, now you can go nadir and aft to P4, inboard bulkhead uh, to the M2 um, uh, dummy mail. Basically picking up F2 and uh, Mike will help you get that. Okay. And bag is secure. On the uh, handrail says so called out. Okay, thanks, Mike.
40 minutes into the space log, this view is uh, through the helmet camera of uh, Drew Foistel. If you're done, I'll let you get past me before I... He's out at the uh, work site for the first task, which is to uh, complete the uh, ammonia jumper rerouting. You'll see uh, the cable will be routed across the uh, truss over here. Copy. The transition is a little disorienting from what we're used to. Yes. But my gyros, have they stabilized? Are stabilizing good. Yeah. Thank you. 